Hey guys, it's Ellie, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Momo bands. So, let's get started. So, the materials you will need are velvet to keep your Momo band in place. You're going to need some cute ribbons to use. I picked red sequins, um, kind of type of silver, a cute owls, blue sequins, a lighter pink sequins, um, pink and purple and blue chevron, and black sequins. So those are my um, ribbons. So then you're going to need some colorful hair ties. They don't have to be colorful, but I choose to do colorful to put in the back. So they are stretchy. So I have blue, I blue, blue, yellow, pink, purple, and green. Also, you're going to need some scissors. You're going to need a hot glue gun or a sewing machine or sew by hand. I have hot glue gun sticks and extras. And then we have a hot glue gun that's warming up. So the first step of this process is you're going to need to cut your velvet into 16 inches. So then you're going to want to cut your cute ribbon the same um, length as your velvet, which is 16 inches, and I already did that. So the third step is you're going to need a hard platform to not get any hot glue on your table. So now that you have these together, you're just going to want to put this on the outside. I think I already said this, but put the velvet upside down and put this on top of it. And hot glue on the edges and do dots in the middle. So that will stick together. And yeah. So... Now I have mine hot glued, and you're just going to want to let it sit. So now what you're going to do, once it has dried for 5-10 minutes, you're going to take this. If your hair tie is way too big, fold it like this, and you're going to take it, and you're going to fold this part over it, and stitch, sew it this way and this way. So I'm done with my Momo band and I'm wearing it and it fits perfectly and I love it. So I'll see you guys on Friday.